Okay, so here are the pieces of the IR pin. You need an infrared lead. You're going to need, let's just take a look at that. This is a TSO 6400. You're going to need a micro switch. Let's just take a look at these pieces here. The long end here is positive. The short end is negative. The lead is polarity sensitive. This will close, close the circuit when both sides are touched. So not these feet, but these feet together. Okay, you can get this in electronic stores. You're going to need some wires. That will be soldered on here. And you're going to need a pen, a pen case. You can see there's a hole here already cut for the switch. This space is about five millimeters, so you can get the lead inside. And once this is done, soldered on with a little bit of tape because we're going to be using glue later on so it looks kind of silly but it'll be great afterwards uh, this gets this gets let's get that in the picture this gets pulled through into the case using another wire that goes in through here so it's pulled in You spend some time fidgeting to get that back up in here. And once you have it up here, I just used a little clothespin, but use something to just make sure that stays stuck up there. I push another long wire through. And now these pieces are ready to be joined. And we're gonna do that. Okay, now we're gonna solder. Um, a lot of people feel intimidated by a soldering iron, but I mean, it's it's not more difficult than ironing clothes. If you can iron clothes, you can you can solder. Uh, what you have is this little pencil that's very hot. So again, you want to make sure you don't touch this. You let it heat up for a while. You have it in place. You're around it while it's hot, because it's much more dangerous for other people who don't realize that it's hot. <laughs> Okay, now what you want to do when you're soldering is you don't want to heat up the solder, which normally does not contain lead. Um, you want to heat up the wire. Now you can see there's a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, we'll see what the quality of the video is. There's a little bit of smoke coming from the plastic, so we're getting it, heat, we're, we're getting it heated up here. Just put it there for a little bit, and then I bring in, bring in the solder. Let's get a little bit more. Okay. Now, if you have a more powerful solder iron, it's going to go a lot faster. My, this is still maybe not completely heated up yet. So, it's going to take a little while. Okay, there we go. Now, So, a good solder joint and a bad solder joint look exactly the same. <laughs> so, it's a very important to heat up your wires, not your solder. Now, can we take a look at that? Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Okay. So here's a glue gun. I just put some glue in here, some hot glue. 
squeeze it in and uh, I put about five squeezes in to uh, to lock this in then I just keep push this in just so it's sticking in and so that's gonna stay in place now you can feel it it's you can feel where it's hot up to which is right about here so that means that that's where the glue stops that glue is holding the switch in place afterwards so it so it has something to push against <laughs>